going to be showing you how to do a couple different variations of the move Barlow 2. Now Barlow 2 is not my move, it was a move created by Nikolaj Peterson. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, but the move isn't mine, I just came up with a couple different variations. If you'd like to learn the original Barlow 2 move, I'll link Nikolaj's tutorial down below in the description. There's also a couple other very helpful Barlow 2 tutorials on YouTube already. So if you do know how to do it, let's get into some variations, and if you don't know how to do it, go learn it, come back here, and have some fun things to mess around with. Let's get into it. All right, let's show you these variations. First and foremost, I am using the new Star Trek playing cards, the Dark Edition by Theory 11. Pretty sick deck. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it in the description down below. All right, so first thing first, Barlow 2 originally looks like this. Right, something like that. And it is a very satisfying move. It's super fun to do, but I've been messing around with it for a little bit now and I've come up with some variations. The first variation we have here is this. So it's rather simple and it just feels really flowy and nice in the hands. So let's get into showing you how it's done. Again, I'm going to assume you know how Barlow 2 is done. So we're gonna get into this position here, right where you swing that packet across. And instead of ending this here and then grabbing this packet, we're going to push this with our index finger and put it right there, close it up, and then turn this with our middle finger, grab it, and close like so. All right, so let's show that again. We're here and we swing this and then we would close this scissor cut and grab this packet, but instead of closing it, we're leaving it open like so. And then we're pushing this packet with our index to just go right into there. Then we close that and then we twist this around like so. So it should look something like this. All right, and we'll give you guys an over the shoulder view as well. So here we are, we lift up, we get into our grip right here. We leave that open, we fold this inwards, close it, twist this around, grab with our index and thumb, and close. All right, just like so. For me, it's very satisfying because we get this little flop sound, and then that, and then that circular motion is just really nice. But uh, yeah, that is the first variation. It's a terrible spring. All right, let's get into the second variation. This one I've been playing around with more recently and it is extremely satisfying. All right, so we start here, we go here, and then that is the move, that is the variation. So there's a little bit more going on here, but it's very satisfying and I enjoy it a lot. So let's get into it. All right, we're starting here again. Right about here is where things change, so get into this position like you normally would for the move of Barlow 2. Alright, so we get right here, and we finish our scissor cut, we close that up, and then we're going to do a half a deck flip in the left hand, and we're going to push this over on top of this packet on our right hand at the same time. Alright, so we get kind of this, this little, uh, that thing going on, which is pretty cool looking. And then, we're going to tilt our right hand forward a bit, and now we have this packet relying on our index to stay there, because if we let that go, it all drops. All right, so we're here, and we go like that, and now your wrist position for this is very important, because as you have this packet, you want to lean your hand forward so that when you flip it up, it doesn't fall this way, and it relies on that index. All right, so we are right about, let's start over, we're right here, okay? And then now you're just going to kick this packet back with your index finger, all right? So we're here, we get, in, and usually before I get into this whole that thing, I'll usually just do this before I flip, do the deck flip. So, because usually this hand is more ready than this hand, so it may not be at the same time. You can time it to be at the same time if you'd like, but I usually don't now that I'm looking at it. It looks a little bit better to time it at the same time, but uh, yeah. So anyway, you get to here and you're gonna kick this back just like that. And then now you are going to essentially do the same thing, the same ending that you did in the previous variation, just a little bit different. You grab this here, and it flips over, and you grab that, and instead of closing it, 
you go into a ending Charlier cup position and you drop it. Now I'm sure there's a variation or a way that you could do this without having it end in the upright position. You could have it face down, I'm sure, but I just haven't found a flowy way to do that yet or a way that I really have liked. So anyway, we're going to go here and if you do it face up, then you can end face down, which is nice. So we go here, we grab that, and we're basically doing the same thing. Instead of closing it, we're getting to it a end Charlier position. That's what we're doing different, okay? So let's do an over the shoulder view, help you guys out. All right, so we are here, and then we close, we flip all that, we kick this back, and then we grab this here, grab it, and don't close it. We get into a Charlier position, and we're done. We can do half a deck flip to end it if we'd like. And uh, one thing I do like to do instead of timing these at the same time, if I have this done before, I like to go very quick with that. So let's try this again. So we're here, here, and we timed that quickly. So it looks very flashy. You're flipping over the deck and sliding that at the same time. It looks pretty cool, I think. And that's the second variation. Now let's get into some added notes that I have. So some added notes, meaning that if you're doing Barlow 2 or any of these variations, you can kind of go into an ATM. You could maybe even go into a one-handed fan sort of situation, all right? So there's just a lot of things to mess around in this grip, I find, especially when you're doing that first variation that I had, we're back here. We could go into ATM, we could go into a one-handed fan, we could really do whatever we want, and it's pretty cool. So if you're looking for some variations or stuff to play around with, you can do whatever you want with this, and uh, yeah, it's just something fun that I've been messing with. Thought I'd show you guys and this is a part of the new series that I will talk about in one second all right so a little bit of a update for you guys if you're still here watching appreciate it um, we're trying to make some better quality content I feel like my quality has been not too hot to say the least I feel like I haven't been trying as hard as I could be I know I'm kind of just ranting this off to you guys but I wanted to update you yeah and this this little series like I was talking about is going to be a new thing I think it's gonna be called variations basically just popular moves or something like that that I just have my own variations of I've done some in the past with the worm and backdrop very popular moves that I have my own variations of and I figured I would show you guys how I do it and I think it could be a fun little series so if you have any suggestions suggestions of moves that I may do and have a variation that you want to see thoughts on this series at all let me know down below if you don't follow the Instagram to get updates and everything we just hit 40k there go follow the Instagram if you're new here like what you see want to see more of it hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified of my videos I appreciate you watching this one and I'll see you guys on the next video let's do it you think we should add bloopers to this Maybe we should add bloopers. That would be fun. You don't see anybody else doing that. Let's do bloopers. That would be fun. Relatively new deck. If you want to check it out, I'll leave them in the link below. In the link below. There's a little bit more going on here, but it is, uh, it's nice when you don't drop the cards. <laughs> All right, so we go here, and then we boop. Nope. 